about money is a game. Are you ready to play? Are you ready to throw your hat in the ring? Are you ready to go out and get your money? See, preparation is very important. Preparation is the essence of success. How many of you are prepared to go out and make your money? How many of you are prepared to start building your businesses? How many of you are prepared to change your financial life? How many of you are prepared to cross over from that employee life to that business owner life? Because see, money is a game. Making money is a game. But the game is, like any other game, has rules, it has regulations, it has guidelines. How many of you are aware of those guidelines? The ones who serve the most make the most money. Service is the cornerstone of the game. Service, how many people you serve? This is one of the things that I see all of the time on the internets. People want to make a lot of money, but they don't want to learn anything new. They don't want to fool with a bunch of people. They want it easy. They want it hassle free. This, if you have any one of those four elements in your mind, rid yourself of that. Don't want to learn anything new. Don't want to mess with a bunch of people. Don't want to work hard. Don't want to have any strategy. Don't want to do things differently. Let that go. Because, see, if you want to play the game of making money, you got to serve people. You've got to become a producer like this this is production creating profit in an uncertain world this is the course that everyone should get money management the basics of finance and wealth development this is a course produced by glendon cameron your hustling godfather to help you treat your current money correctly this is to help you set your finances on fire because it is true. It's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. And it's how you organize unless you have like really low income. But if you want to make the best of your money, this is the course you need. Money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Because in my effort to be a producer, in my effort to serve you, I created a course to help you manage your money better to go ahead and set up your finances in a manner that prepares you to become more financially affluent. This is the first step. The second step is starting a business, but you got to clean up your current income, bad habits. You've got to clean up your poor money management habits. This is what you got to do. And this is for you. The link is under the stream. This has the five checking account blueprint, which you will be running your personal life like a business. This is gold, people. This is gold. This will help you. Because, see, you want to make that money you got to make a mental adjustment because making money is a game. And the rules of the game is you must serve people. I am amazed at how many folks here on the internet who want to make a lot of money don't want to do nothing for it. I don't want to do nothing for it. Bitcoin. I just buy me some Bitcoin. Stack it up and sell it later. 
make a lot of money. There's a term for this, and it's called, uh, let's see, rent seeking. This is how most people want to make money. All right. It's called rent seeking. Scholarly articles for rent seeking behavior. Rent seeking is a concept in public choice theory as well as economics that involves. Let's go to it. As well as economic that involves seeking to increase one's share of existing wealth without creating new wealth. Rent seeking results in reduced economic efficiency through misallocation of resources, reduced wealth creation, lost government revenue, heightened income inequality, and potential national decline. So familiarize yourself with rent seeking. This is how so many people online are trying to make money without improvement of the marketplace, without bringing something new to the marketplace, without fair trade. This is how so many people, this is how people get scammed. You know, this is how people lose their money on these scams because they're looking to get a whole lot of something for little or nothing. Those are not the rules of the game. That ain't even rent seeking ain't even part of the game. It, it, it's not even part of the rules. But this is once again rent buying Bitcoin cryptocurrency, uh holding, you know, buy it now and hold on to it for a short period of time is rent seeking behavior with the expect of outsized gains. It, it is just it's crazy how many people get involved in this. You know, rent seeking behavior is evident because many people feel that the people who have money, who are doing well, they somehow got lucky. This is how people looking at it. They somehow got lucky. They they somehow hit a get good lick. I remember a friend of mine, we were having a conversation and he said, dude, something you said to me just really hit me in my mental. It hit me in my cortex. It said, dude said it took him six years to get to this point. Six years. And I was like, hallelujah, people are hearing me. You're not going to get a lot of wealth in a short period of time. It's not going to happen. And most of you internally know this, but many of you secretly hope that it's not true, that you can go out here, put out a little hustle dust, make a lot of money and do what it do and get your big booty Betty Get your Lambo and you'll be okay. Simply not true. Simply not true. Let's see. What up, people? What's up, Trav? King Nick, Monkey Spaz, Leslie, Randall Riley, Mahal, the DSL Chronicles. Thank you for the $25 super chat. Coach sold my first online coach course just yesterday. It's a 499 course. Got to say, you asking for the money course at Hustlers Kung Fu helped a lot. I go into the course 10 times by now. Let me go ahead and say this again. And thanks for the $25 super chat. Coach sold my first online course just yesterday. It's a 499 course. Got to say, you're asking for the money course at Hustlers Kung Fu helped a lot. I've gone through the course 10 times. Let's just talk about this. Congratulations, DSL Chronicles, for be coming over to that producer side, for coming over to the side that you create wealth. When you create a course, 
you write a book you produce a video you create something that didn't exist before therefore you're creating personal wealth congratulations what's up al gordon tyra gibson oh yeah it is a game man Jason Clutchy, in the words of Ronnie Coleman, everybody want to be a bodybuilder, but one way we'll lift these heavy weights. Thank you, DSLR Chronicles. Rail, facts, bro. People think business is a fad or a trend. Business is a marathon. Glad to see you doing better. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's a day-by-day -day thing, man. But let's take the DSL Chronicles uh a thing apart so this is what he did and let's see uh is that even under here yep ask for the money the sales course that dsl chronicles took he spent some money let's let's talk about this there are many of you who feel that you are smart enough to figure it out. And many of you are. But the thing is, how much money is figuring it out going to cost you? Uh, ask for the money. The sales course is below. It's $99. It's 100 bucks. Jump on it. Because when, you know, right now, I'm getting ready to spend a lot of money on some training because figuring it out is lost money you lose money trying to figure out this stuff the internet is a you know i'm getting ready to buy an instagram account you think back you know about a year ago two years ago i was trying to start an instagram account from scratch and instagram works very well for pretty women and hot men so hopefully this sale goes through and this is going to save me so much time. What's up, A Rush? See, DSL Chronicles spent some money on a course and a big congratulations to DSL Chronicles. DSL are DSL Chronicles, SLR Chronicles, did something that many people don't do. They took action. Now he's got a taste. He's got a taste. Seeing that notification come across your phone of like four nine. Oh, whoa! I'm a producer now. I am serving my fellow man. That is where the rubber meets the road. You want to be, you want to produce more than you consume. And we got too many people who are just consuming, consuming, and not producing anything. And when you become a producer, you get on that first rule of service. You get on that road to becoming a facilitator of helping your fellow man. I was on a Facebook post the other day and people were talking about the courses they took and how much these courses helped them. Once again, let me go ahead and give you the roadmap. Let's see. Uh, what's up, uh, Taman? Erica William, yes, so hot man. Oh, man, you once again like i said i'm trying to buy this instagram account been the bartender years that's the exact point rl that's that's true see this is how the game works uh becoming a producer gearing your mental to become a producer where you're producing versus consuming consumption is easy consumption feels nice consumption's good consumption is very much the way that most people are geared but to step up and become a producer you change the game you change the game of money like this guy 
on the corner of Fifth uh, Fifth Avenue in New York with his hot dog cart. He's a producer. He is feeding hungry New Yorkers who's like, hey, man, I want me a hot dog on the way to Uptown or to Times Square. Stop by and get that hot. He's a producer. He is serving his fellow men. Hey, Rush, you just offer someone who has an Insta account page and ask them if they want to sell it. It's pretty simple. Uh, once I achieve it, I'll talk more about it. But this is a serious effort in saving time buying an established Instagram account. Since Facebook has bought Instagram, they've made it harder for new accounts to take off unless you know all of the rules. And see, once again, you a lot of people hear me say something and they want to kind of get in on it. You got to have a plan. To be a producer, you need to have a plan. You need to be proactive on your plan because I'm getting ready to do a lot of different stuff this summer. And yep, already seasoned with active followers. I mean, you got to think about this. Um, once I figure out how to do it, because my intentions are to buy three, to buy three Instagram accounts. And I've, I'm in conversation with people because this changes the game. This sets up things very quickly because uh, I reached out on my Facebook page the other day and asked for help with Facebook ads because clearly I don't know how to do Facebook ads, but I'm not trying to take six months to figure it out. I'm going to hire someone to run my Facebook ads. I'm not going to do it. Just not going to do it because money is a game. These are the rules of the game. This is what you have to do. You have to go ahead and accept the rules of the game. Facebook is going to do what Facebook's going to do. YouTube's going to do what YouTube's going to do. Amazon's going to do what Amazon's going to do. Instagram's going to do. Those are the rules of the game. Accept them and then circumvent them. Once you accept them, well, this is what Facebook is doing. This is what YouTube. I've been fighting with YouTube for two years. YouTube, as Erica Williams likes to say, picks and chooses. They do. Uh, I had one video which was chosen for a minute where the rich people of Atlanta live. Did 100,000 real quick. Then they just like cut the traffic. I was getting like 100 subscribers a day from that one video. See, YouTube picks and chooses winners. You know, if you are chosen, you can make 100K a month from AdSense. But if you ain't chosen, if you're not one of the promised children, uh, a lot of the promised children are pranksters, couples. Uh, it's very interesting. Rael, when you're a big thinker in business, you learn pretty quickly how you would rather pay people to do the lower level stuff so you can spend more time trying to capture a larger. There you go, man. There you go. There you go, man. That's the ticket. Because right now, it's about speed. You know, this is why you take online courses because it's about speed. Let's say you can learn it on your own in a year. Or you can learn it in a few weeks taking a course. Would you rather spend 11 months and two weeks more learning something that you can drop some money? Money is the lever that moves things because uh, one of these Instagram accounts I'm trying to get has almost like 100K followers. Um, my plan is once I get it, you know, I'm going to start running ads on it and, you know, all kinds of stuff. I can instantly start making money from that speed. Part of the money game is speed. How fast can you move your lever? God, it is real. It's the reason why administrative assistance exists. True that. 
true that because when you become a producer, aka businessman, you buy time with employees. You got a company with 50 employees, you've just bought per employee, you just bought 40 plus hours. So let's see what that is in terms of time. So you got 50 times 40. You just bought yourself 2,000 hours of productivity that I don't care if you work 24 hours a day, you still cannot beat those 2,000 hours that those 50 employees will buy you. You just can't. Ben Bartender, cute kids, blonde, cute kids, blonde hair, blue eyes, foreign looking. Oh, man. If you are a black woman married to a white dude, start a YouTube channel. That audience is huge and it's very kind and it's very supportive. They love that stuff. If you are a black man with a white, Asian, Hispanic, a super cute, super feminine woman, start a YouTube channel. If you got cute kids, instant views, instant, instant, because this is what people want to see. This is the, these are the rules of the game. That's how people want to be served. I will say that it's getting harder to be a fitness personality. It's getting harder to be a, a travel vlogger. So, you know, there's this because this stuff's all new, man. People getting paid to travel is relatively new in the world of business. It, 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 it is uh, one of the greatest things that, if you think about it, you could start an Instagram page, a YouTube channel, and talk about traveling and make money enough to live on. That's crazy. That's the opportunity. It's getting harder to be a travel vlogger. Uh, I would say if I was starting today, I would start off with a social media company because once again, you own a social media agency, you're a producer, you're serving people. This is how you do it. This is how you make the money. This is, this, this is how you roll hard. This is where the juice comes in and for people who uh, who need a little help I'm about to go ahead and help you now we just had DSLR Chronicles give a testimonial because there's a lot of people like you know I don't believe in asking people for testimonials i believe the best testimonials are the one that people offer freely without coercion who uh do this but for you folks who need some help learning how to sales this is the sales course this is I'm going to hit the landing page asking for the money. This is part of the game. You must ask for the money. Like here it is. So let me go ahead and break it down for you. The offer is an hour and a half just on offer introduction to the most introduction to the most important part of sales, constructing the offer, testing offer, Digital introduction, revising offer, developing a base for activity X20 
the art of offering. Ask for the damn money. How to get a sales job, you're not qualified for this year. Do you need money today? Selling like your life depends on it. The offer is everything, the merchandise. So go ahead. If you need help today on learning how to sell, the link is below this stream. Go ahead and get that for a hundred bucks because DSL Chronicles bought it. Uh, you know, the price was a little different, but he's already made more money from the courses than what he's paid. This is the acceleration that an online course would give you. Let's say, you know, you figure it out in a year or two, or you could take a course. What's the shortest distance between two points? A straight line. This is what you're doing, going here, going here, 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 in circles, chasing your tail. Like I was doing that with Facebook ads and I set up an ad account and everything I put up has been disapproved. And I'm like, you know what? You're wasting time. Find someone that knows how to do this stuff and hire them and pay them. That's the play. Trying to build an Instagram account. Uh, I was watching this video. Uh, let, let me show it to you. Let's see. Um, Rael, if you can make people's lives better, you can make money. Passport heavy social media agency, then YouTube to drive traffic. Jesse Ballando is asking for the money. The same thing as asking for the sale. Um, many people don't even ask for the sale. Oh, the DSL Chronicles. Okay, he got in at the 99 once again. He's already up some money. He's already up money. But let's see how to... All right. Um, and it's always these kids, right? It's always a kid. And this is one of the things that I've learned. You got these kids out here making 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 K a month, and they are still in high school. How crazy is that? Imagine if you were in high school making 100 K a month when you were a kid, how would your life have been different? This is what they're doing. They're all over the Shopify stuff. A lot of these kids will never, ever get a normal job. They're not suited for it. They've had that taste of entrepreneurship, of being a man, and of charting their own destiny. But, you know, if you're interested in the Instagram thing, because there's many ways you could do this, because it operates on information asymmetry. Information asymmetry is you know information that other people don't. Gordon Gecko said it best. One of the best commodities is information. So this is what you do. You go out here in the Instagram page that you can instantly monetize. But once again, you already need a producer. You already need to have some products. You already need to have product. You already need to have something to sell. This is why the strategy will not work for someone who's just because it's going to because I mean, some of these pages could be 500,000 bucks. You know. Been the bartender with the very different administrations. Rael, a few years ago, years ago, I said, don't be surprised to come to work for a company that's an adult and come to training 
from an 18 year old CEO who owns the company. These kids are different. They understand the game of money. D Grant, I would not run multiple businesses out of one LLC. I wouldn't do it. Why you they're so cheap? Why would you want to do that? These kids understand the game of money. These kids understand the game of money. They're becoming producers in high school. How crazy is that? You are a 17 year old chick with a makeup line making two to three million dollars a year, and you have not graduated high school. And people are in your ear talking about you need to go to college. You're like, why? You know the lifetime earnings? Let me show you. Let me show y'all some. Lifetime earnings of the average American. All right. So this this is going to make that three million dollar number very interesting. By retirement, graduates with bachelor's and advanced degrees to, to, can expect to have earned an average total of one point eight million, while associate graduates only can reach one point one. I want you to think about that. How much does the average American earn in their lifetime? As of 2014, the American average American had 4,400 bucks in their checking account. I don't think so. Lifetime earnings. High school graduates. 88% of the population per 2015 census numbers make under 1 million. This is average lifetime earnings for your whole life. This includes part-time jobs, full-time jobs. You make 900 K remember, you know, Remember when I was doing this? What percent are you are? And I put 32,000. 44% of the country. 32K was more than 50%, 56% of America. So let's get up to 35K. So. You, you see, in the game of money, if you're just a high school graduate trading time for money, your lifetime cap is under a million bucks. If you get an associate's degree, you go up to 1.1. You get a bachelor's degree, you might get up to 1.8. But 88% of the population doesn't have a degree. And... You got many folks with degrees who are crying the blues because they can't find comparable employment. So these numbers are off. I would be sh I would be shocked if 75 percent of Americans made over a million dollars in their lifetime. Now, how do we change this? You become a producer. By becoming a producer. Even if you suck, you're going to make 10 times more money than the average person. Even if you suck. I want you to think about that. You're going to make 10 times more money than the average person. Then follow a minimum of the cell on EG. Smoke a lot in LLC is not expensive. All right, <clears throat> once again, this is the channel of abundance. We're going to do stuff the right way. We, if you're going to have an LLC and you're going to try to run several businesses 
under a DBA, you just cheap. You have a scarcity mindset. An LLC in most states is under a hundred bucks. Why would you want to run the DBA? Once again, uh, I push back on the people who I can do this with a sole proprietorship. You ain't serious about your business if you want to do it under a sole proprietorship. You ain't serious about your business if you want to do it under several DBAs. Go ahead, get the proper LLC organization operating structure. It ain't that expensive and it sets the future up to be nice. Well, I read Robert Kiyosaki's why students, A students work for C students and B students work for the government. I suggest people read that. Wow. Been the bartender, exactly. No bills, parents paying for everything. Smoke a lot. Stop arguing with me. This is, you have a scarcity mindset if you want to run several businesses under an LLC. That justifies all of the, the rules of money because you're trying to be cheap. You think Donald Trump in his 96 LLCs was doing DBAs? You think Google is doing DBAs, not paying any taxes? You think Amazon's doing DBAs, not paying any taxes? You play the game to win. This is how you win the game. Not the scarcity minded child's play. I'm just gonna have me one LLC. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of DBA. That that makes no sense to me, man. It makes no sense to me, whatever. Can you open the LLC using a DBA to attempt to hide the identity? No. <laughs> Thank Ray J. Williamson. William Watts, about the only thing you need to be doing as a sole proprietorship is make a gift basket. Sure ain't, Glendon. The lack of mentality is the path of non-performance. Blockbuster, learn the hard way. Smoke a lot. Hold on. Hold on, smoke a lot. Actually, in states like North and, North and South Carolina, they're cheaper than 100 bucks. But hold on a second. Do, 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 do. I love proving people wrong in real time. All right. Corporations. File online. I've done this several times. Online payment. Registration. Um, all my LLCs were a hundred bucks, dude. So that would take too long to go through this. Uh, I don't want to do. Let's see. How much? If you do it for a living, man, you 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 leave a lot of money on the table. You can file the articles of organization for the Secretary of State Corporations website and submit the transmittal forms. The filing fee for the forms is a hundred bucks. A pointed a register hundred bucks. There it is in print on the internet. I don't know what you do for a living, but you need to uh, increase your knowledge base because you must be working for this. This DBA stuff is crazy. It's in churchy for the real. You have to make profit from the LLCs, invest in other businesses. Missouri LLC is 49 bucks. 
Rashid, can I have multiple LLCs under a holding company? Absolutely. He wants to argue because this is what I call stupid Negro tricks. Yeah, I'm just as good as he is, but I don't have any results. I don't have a track record. I don't have books on Amazon. I don't have a YouTube channel with nine some that I don't have none of that, but I'm just as good as he is. And I have the ability to state my opinion on the anonymity so I can talk all kinds of smack. That's what that's about. That's what it is. Um, probably someone that was raised by a single mother doesn't understand what true masculinity is. Yeah, I said that. Because one of the things, that part of the game of money is competition. Economic competition. This is what breeds the best out of people. This is what takes you to the next level. This is what formulates your business. When I was out in that storage auction trail, I learned competition from white guys. I used to work for a company. We used to put in bids just to screw up the other company's bids. We knew we were not going to get the, the job, but we put that price in there to muddle waters so this company did not make as much profit. So on the next job, they couldn't be present with full pockets. I took that game out on the storage auction trail and I would bid people, bid people, bid people economic competition against white men and an Asian dude. This is what formulated this mindset because when you get into economic competition, sometimes you win. And when you win, oh, it is so nice to win. I know he's smoking a lot. I mean, you're serious. That's stupid Negro tricks. I know rugged college just moved in a new building, doing business on the LLC. These court people can do things faster for you. More money, man. What's up, Crep Junkie TV? We, we, we got people out here who don't understand the rules of money. First rule of money is service. The more people that you serve, the more money that you make. Create, create some cookies, cupcakes, create some product. Everybody needs to be in the marketplace with a product or service. This is how you make it. This is how the money is made. I got a thumbs down. I guess that was smoke a lot. Anthony Johnson, nine and bucks into Ohio holding. Yeah, because essentially, you know, many people come with what I call low expectation having stuff of doing the DBA doing business as why would you have one LLC doing business as several different companies versus just formulating? See, I'm from the school of doing it right the first time and not half ass doing it. Cause if you're going to register the DAB, you still going to spend some money. You might as well create an LLC and get the proper structure set up. <laughs> What's up, Tiger Sharks? The soft bigotry of low expectations. Because essentially, uh, many people feel, you know, that doing it the right way is too hard. So they start taking shortcuts. There's no need to take a shortcut. Big M110, why would you subject all of your business to the possibility of liability because of what happened with one? Exactly. Low expectations, being cheap, pathologically cheap, economically thrifty. I mean, you know, like 
all my stuff costs about a thousand bucks a year in annual registration fees for the mental clarity for the mental protection that that provides me you can it's to me it's money well spent it's just money well spent because for those of you who want to play the game of money, think how can you serve your fellow man? That's the game. That's the game. And you know, LLCs, holding companies are part of the game. Bruce, just don't know how much your information has helped and reshape and strengthen my game plan. Thank you. Appreciate that, Cruz. I'm sitting here listening, man, doing a DBA. It's a kill on the tax game, payroll taxes. I mean, essentially, if you are a single member entity, payroll taxes are 15%. You should form an S Corp if you're a single member entity because that 15% Plus what it used to be the 35% before uh, Trump and company reduced it. That used to be 50% on your earned income. 50% of your money gone. A lot of people who didn't know this were shocked. They're like, whoa, 50%. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of money in taxes. What's up, DL? Appreciate that. Having a proper holding company to see when you create the holding company structure, the money passes up to the holding company, depending upon what kind of structure you have with the holding company. So many things could be done, but this has to be done before you start doing business. Desi Media, just a holding company in the LLC. Wayne Johnson, thanks for the audio bus, audio book, The Hustler's Mindset, changed my life. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Uh, one of the things that you got to understand about the game of money is you can't win unless you play. If you ain't playing, you can't win. It's like, you know, me and my odd fantasies of winning the lottery, but I never played the lottery. I can't never, ever win the lottery because I never put any money into it. It's a weird little fantasy of mine, like if I won the lottery, which is kind of foolish since you don't play. I've not bought a lottery ticket in 20 years. What's up, Lamote? You play the game to win. If you're a producer and you're making some sales, you are winning. It is such a hard thing to get your mentality about becoming a producer because in the beginning, the sales are going to fall. That's just how the game is played. But as you stick with it, as you sharpen your mental, you get better and better. The money goes up. I remember listening to some Brian Tracy tapes years ago, and he talked about the power of personal development. In sales, in entrepreneurship, this is the only game that you can play where you can double your income year after year after year after year. First year, 100,000. Second year, 200,000. Third year, 400,000. Fifth year, fourth year, 800,000. Fifth year, 1.6 million. You can't do that nowhere else unless you are out here being an entrepreneur and producing. There ain't nowhere else you can do this. Nowhere else you can do this. This is why you got to get in the game of money. Becoming a producer, putting stuff out there, creating what you need to create. 
building businesses, building relationships, meeting people, networking with people. This is the thing that's going to change your life. It's going to set your wallet and bank account on fire. You're going to look at those dollars and just do, 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 do. dollars just dropping in your account. Yes, you should set up the holding company first. Uh, I got somebody who sent me a, a compliment. You know, I, I'm not real good with my Facebook messages. I keep forgetting about the other folder. And I went in there and it's like, dude, you are one of the founding fathers of black entrepreneurship. I didn't really see it as black entrepreneurship. I was just like, in my opinion, everybody, you white, you purple, you Hispanic, you Asian, you need a business. You need a business. That's how I look at it. That's how I see it. And um, many people, you gave me some really nice props. So I'm, I appreciate that. Why is having my properties like my vehicles in the LLC safer than having it under my name? All right. Once again. Proper holding company structure. If you're going to have a vehicle in your LLC, it needs to be in a separate LLC. And you need to lease that vehicle to your company. Because what is a vehicle? Rolling risk. The chances of you being in an accident are so high. And some smart attorney is like, oh, this company's own, this vehicle's owned by this company. And this company has deep pockets. And typically that's a hard thing to do unless there's injury. You know, if you get into a fender bender and no one's harmed, uh, more, more than likely the most they can go after is the insurance money. But having a vehicle in an LLC needs to be set up properly. And a lot of people seem to have a problem with doing this properly and doing this half-assed. I mean, it's it's one of the sad things because with vehicles, you need to have those in a separate LLC and rent them to the main company where the money's coming in. So if those vehicles are in an accident, it gets a little dicey because they they were you know an accident by company that's making money. So you you've got to be very careful. Xavier France, I got my holding company agent right now. Elijah James, sales is the best way to make a load of money. Business ain't nothing but selling. You're right. Thank you, Xavier. Thank you, Rugged Collars. Anthony Johnson, you definitely a goat in the black community. My people look at me when I talk about holding companies. They just know LLCs. Yeah, I mean, essentially, setting up your holding company or holding companies. You know, if you have, because if you're going to do multiple businesses, you are, you, you a boss if you're doing multiple businesses. If you have multiple businesses and they all making money, aka like Master P or Diddy, or they all had multiple businesses and all these businesses were making money. A holding company is a separate LLC. A holding company can be a corp. But most people don't need to do a C corp, which is going to bring up dual taxation. Because essentially, if you're going to do a C corp, you have visions of bringing on other partners and potentially one day going public. See, this is where you get to classify your shares. You can have restricted stock. You can have dividend paying stock. The options are endless. But that's big boy business. That's if you are aiming for the tops. That was like what Uber did. That's what Facebook did. Amazon did it that way. Apple. These are the big boys. It could be either one. But for a small, for an individual with a small company, I would not do a C Corp. Unless you're going to issue shares of stock, which is equity. Because, see, when you do a C-Corp, you create wealth and you can sell these shares of stock 
to get money to cash out, so to speak, because it's not a loan. Let's say you have a C Corp and you got 150,000 shares of stock for 100 bucks and someone buys 30,000 of them. That money comes to the company. You could do whatever you want to with that money. Uh, Rashad, it depends on what's in the articles of organization or incorporations. See, Jeff Bezos set it up where he can never fire. Jeff Bezos was an analyst on Wall Street, so he knew how these things worked. What's the purpose of the Vantage to open the uh, anonymity? No one knows who owns this company. And also, um, they have additional protections for businesses. Uh, at the moment, it doesn't come up to me. I think it's called a charging order. Um, some states, essentially, if the LLC gets sued, you can go after everything that's in it. In some states, you can't. Uh, well, three member. Uh, no, you don't have to do an S corp. You've got three members. You know, if you ever get bored, just go to your secretary of state and read through the LLCs. Uh, Xavier France. Yes, I do have them in the art of holding, which you can get for 500 bucks. It's below. So. There, there's so many things with the art of holding, but the game of money. Are you ready to play? Are you ready to make more money? Are you ready to throw your hat into the ring? That's the question. Because if you want to make more money, you need to play this game and you need to play it as hard and fast as you can. You need to pretend you were a kid and you played and hide and go seek. The money's hiding, you seeking it out. You, you need to be on that. And remember, money is a byproduct of service. The more people you serve, the more money you make. Yeah, you can put your brother on your payroll. I would advise that you would hire people. Don't give people company equity for doing wage work. Aaron V, if a holding company, small company, how does the cash flow? Well, once again, the art of holding goes through all that because you must set this up properly to make the cash flow flow correctly all right so i'm getting ready to drop some more gems on y'all all right so this is what we had for those of you who need help learning how to sell asking for the money go ahead and get that it's 100 bucks it's under the video and everyone needs to get money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. This is your beginning course because before you become an entrepreneur, before you become an investor, you need to be running your money ship as tight as possible. You know, if you know anything about becoming a true investor, you know that you don't invest in nothing until you get out of debt because your bullets, your economic bullets are separated. So you got money going over here servicing debt and you trying to pay off debt unless you have a large income that just doesn't work so the, both the links for these are under this stream so go ahead and get those today and begin your journey of becoming a producer of serving your fellow man of making that long money i mean seriously even if you suck you're still going to make 10 times more than the average person. The blue gorilla depends on how much money it's making. Yeah. 
DL, how do I find a mentor who has a successful trucking business? Get in business. If I wanted a guy to be my mentor for the trucking business, I had a guy and I met him when I was running my business. If you want to meet mentors, people who can help you get in business, they're not going to find you in your living room. They're not going to find you at the club. When you, you know, this is how I meet so many people who are helpful is because I'm in business. And when I meet people on the plane, I sit and I talk business and they know I'm real. And then they start dropping me gems. Get in business to find mentors. So with that, I'll see you guys later. What's going on? This is a little different, but I thought I would explain to you guys what the new situation is. It's digital education, how to make money online. I'm finally getting around to teaching the things that I do or currently doing. And this is going to be Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills isn't going anywhere. I'm going to go through what's happening with that tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is this is going to be my main focus the rest of the year in 2020 what this is because you know there, there's so many people who talk about how to make money online and you'll have an fba course or you'll have a how to run ads course but there's no comprehensive curriculum that's going to answer all of your questions i'm in a click funnels group and i just look at all the questions that people are asking and just they just don't have the comprehensive online education so what i'm putting together and this is from learning from this this is b school for hustlers um funny thing is i, I created this about three years ago and i created a stripe account for it and the stripe account was still open so apparently they don't have a problem with b school for hustlers so in, in any case we could get around that but let me take you through the whole process now this will include an updated version of the art of holding and i'm going to get into that so you got two ways to get in here 1600 one and done and 18 times 125 per month so you got two ways to get in here and this pricing is just going to be available while i'm beginning because once i build out a course and the course is done, then I'm going to raise the price of this because this is the there's not much there pricing with more to come. So one of the things that, you know, we're going to do. And let's see. Um, really don't want to be there. Let's do this. Let's go to B school for hustlers. You like that? You like that? You're the lion. The zebra is the money. Go get that money. That's the world we live in. All right, here it is. So, what we're going to talk about is this is going to include nine courses. Once again, the courses are not done. As these courses come online, like how to market and sell on YouTube. That will be a course. And, you know, it's not 100% ready. And how to make more money from Broke Dick Danny to pay Percy. That's going to be a course. The strategic holding company, how to set up and deploy. There's going to be a ton of information from the art of holding plus additional information going forward. The Google Ads course, how to run successful and profitable ads, how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit. The Hustler's Mindset course, how to change your thinking for abundance. I'm gonna go deep there. How to make money with content, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. The Money Management course, how to prep your financial love for happiness and joy. And the money game, 
how to play and win. So what you're going to be doing is getting, because I don't really know how long it's going to take me to build out all these courses and, you know, need to get rid of that because um, cause I'm already got, I'm adding stuff here. And I need to go ahead and change that because I will have people trying to get into this. But I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to set up. a rugged durable online business because one of the things is like with these other courses and they're good courses they're not bad but the thing is you're not getting the full deal you're not getting a comprehensive uh-huh So we're going to do this for, because I'm going to add more to this, $2.99. Let's get rid of that free. But essentially, this is going to be everything you need to start a successful online business or a collection of online businesses. Because the Google Ads course, because, you know, I don't know how to do Facebook ads, but I know how to do Google ads. So I'm going to do a course on that. I know how to sell and create online courses. I'm going to do a course on that. I got the money management thing. I know how to market and sell on YouTube. Do a course on that. How to make money with content. I'm going to lay out some stuff that you know many people don't understand. And this is just going to be fun. I could build this out in maybe three months. I could build it out in six months. I'm giving myself six months to build this out so you will have these courses they will be done they'll be available you will be able to use this information to make money pretty much if you're on a payment plan before you pay for this i want you to think about that because it's going to be like an online school you know and I'm thinking about adding some more stuff to it. And I will say this, that if I add any more stuff to it before 2020, that also will be included in the pricing that I put out. Because there's some stuff I'm mulling over. Because, you know, I'm thinking this is pretty much it. Um, this is the things that I do. These are the things I know how to do. These are the things I make money with. And if I add anything else, that will be part of this deal. And once again, the pricing is there's not much there. The money management, how to prep your financial life and happiness and joy, that's going to be done very quickly. And that's going to be your first course. And what's going to be different about this than um, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills is you're going to do the money management course first. You're going to do the Hustler's Mindset course second. Then you're going to do How to Make More Money from Broke Dick Danny to Pay Percy third. And then we're going to get into the Strategic Holding Company. There will be a certain sequence that you will take these courses in where they make sense. Because let's take the Money Management course. What's the use in you making money if you're just going to blow it big willy style? If you're just going to not properly do what you need to do? You, you, it's just, you know, you're going to create more problems for yourself. You go out and you start making more money and you have bad money management habits. You're going to like maybe develop a drug dependency problem. Um, like the video I put on Disruptive Mail, you may be going out buying hookers and blow and think that's a good idea where to put the money versus putting the money into long-term 
asset building processes. So that's going to be the first course. Everyone's going to take that. And you, you get all of this. And I will <clears throat> go ahead and stress, as I build these out, I'm going to change the price of the offer, right? This pricing is, you know, because I'm pretty much going to do the Hustler's Mindset course after the money management course, then we're going to get how to make more money from broke dick to any pay Percy. Uh, I'm pretty much going to go through those really quickly. I might get those done before the end of the year. And then uh, the strategic holding company, I've got probably 75% of the content already. So that's going to go very fast. So there will be a lot here for you to do, learn and process and begin doing very, very quickly, very, very quickly. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is for you folks who are going to take advantage of the payment plan, I made the payment plan very affordable. Um, you're going to get all of this stuff before you finish paying. So fortunately, when I do payment plans, I have a very good, you know, high completion rate and most people are honorable so i'm going to trust you guys to be honorable and also something else that's going to happen now this isn't the t-shirt that isn't the t-shirt <clears throat> i'm going to craft a designer and we're going to come up with a digital citizen t-shirt and that's also included in the course it may be a long sleeve i may do a long sleeve i'm going to work on that tomorrow but i feel that this is a well-rounded curriculum for you to make money online because i know a lot of you don't want to do youtube but i'm telling you the power of youtube is sick i mean you know let's just keep it honest like uh my main channel it ain't really doing the youtube thing but just on the AdSense, you know, level, I do 1500 to 3000 a month. And my channel really ain't bumping the way that, you know, because uh, this is the reason I'm starting new channels, because I started one new channel. I'm going to start some more because the algorithm is favoring new channels like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, like Disruptive Mail, Disruptive Mail makes consistent money. And I'm, I'm taking some of the new training that I had and I'm applying it to disruptive mail and I'm starting to see results. So, and how to make money with content. <clears throat> We're going to discuss how to create the right type of content because you got to have the right stuff. So <clears throat> this is the new deal. And this is a combination because I woke up this morning really early and I started working on this. And all this happened today. I built this out today. I strategized it. I've been really, really thinking about it in my mind. I've been thinking about it. And now that, you know, it's fully out of my head, I felt very productive. I felt very energized. I felt really, really good that this thing is done so this is what's going to drop this is what's going to happen and the link it will be below because you will be taking the money management course there's already content there there's training already there and i'll get that finished before you can go through the whole course and we will get this so this is what it is and if you want to start an online business you know, like I said, there's a few other courses I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't committed to them, so they're not there. But if I do add these courses before the end, you know, because it, it will be before the end 2020, I will include that in this offer, the T-shirt. We will be having webinars. There, there's a lot of stuff because like I'm, I'm going back to how I used to do it. So. We're going to have webinars where you could come in and ask questions. It will not be live streams on YouTube. And we will be able to chop this up. So, I, like I said, I feel very, very productive. 
I feel that this is going to be amazing for you because, you know, the Google Ads course. I mean, if you're going to create any kind of website, you got to learn how to run ads. Yes, you can get organic traffic, but it is super slow. And, you know, getting organic traffic can take years. And hands down, because you you will you will actually start you know seeing me run ads and stuff, because I've got a budget. I'm gonna start running ads, and I'm gonna do a course after I get to running this. So, and you know how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit. That's gonna be a winning class. So there's a ton of value here for you if you want to start an online business. And for those folks who don't want the whole thing as each course gets built out, then that will be made available to you. And it ain't gonna be cheap. Um, Like your best bang is to get on the payment plan or to get the $1,600 deal now. That's your best deal. All right. This is Glendon. I will see you guys later. If you want to be part of this experience, this monumental educational experience, the link is below. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later.